Hi, it's Doreen, and this is your weekly oracle card reading for October 31st through November 6th. Can you believe that we're already going into November already? Uh, amazing how fast 2016 has gone by. And I'm here with, you know her, you love her, I love her. This is Precious, and she's, she just loves being with us during these weekly oracle card readings. So she asked to be with us today, and of course I said yes. And she likes, to, she likes to wear clothes. She's very girly girl <laughs> compared to the others. So I'm working this week with one of my favorite decks of cards, the Messages from Your Angels. It's an oldie but a goodie. It, it gives very specific answers. And, you know, we're going through this real time of, of shift right now. Um, here in the U.S., we're one, just a couple days, one week before the big U.S. elections. There's a lot of... Um, energy about that. We've got the new moon that just happened last week on the 30th. Um, the 31st is a big celebration of the veil thinning, Samhain. It's also known as Halloween or All Hallows Eve. And it's Michael's birthday. Hi, honey. Hello. And then um, one of my favorite celebrations, November 1st, World Vegan Day. And to celebrate that, Hay House has all my veganism books on half price sale on my website, angeltherapy.com. Books about how to transition into veganism. I've been a vegan for 20 years. It's not that hard. It used to be, but these days it's super easy. So anyway, I'm shuffling the cards with prayers. This card deck pops right up with the cards that want to come out. So that's going to be Monday and Tuesday. And then we're going to shuffle again with prayer and intention for Wednesday, Thursday. Look at that. Boom. Easy deck to work with. And then the weekend. I always want a drum roll when it's the weekend because it's three days. It's always Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Nope, that doesn't want to come. If you try to pull a card and it resists, just go with that. That's a sign it's not the card. These cards work with the law of attraction, also known as magnetic resonance. And so like a lock and a key, the card that wants to come to your question, and my question is, what should we know for this week? is always going to be attracted to you. So there, nope, that one doesn't want to come either. It requires a little patience. And um, as we shuffle, dear Lord, what would you like us to know about this week? And, and how can we be of service and help? There we go. Okay, boom. Two cards coming up. Something very, very strong about this weekend. We'll see what it is. But let's start off with Monday and Tuesday, Adriana. Adriana is a reminder that your angels are with you. It's just like this beautiful picture of the angel leading the children, so are we like little children. We're the children of God, after all. And God gave us all guardian angels to help us. So this card really says that your prayers have been heard and that your angels are leading you to the answers to your prayers. It's not that God and the angels are Santa Claus or magical genies that grant wishes. They give you the, the guidance to help you, to help you to grant your prayers and your wishes. And so they want me to ask you what repetitive messages you've been getting lately to take positive action steps. And they may not even seem to be related to your prayer. Maybe you're getting guidance to make some change in your life. And you think, well, that's not convenient, that's not fun. But it's them helping you to go along the path to your, your answer to your prayers. And whenever it's repetitive, pay attention. Because the ego is like someone who has no attention span. The ego changes its mind and will tell you different things to do. But the higher self that's one with God and divine guidance that's true and trustworthy is consistent. So it will consistently give you the same step to take over and over again. And then once we fulfill that step, then they give us the next clue or the next step to take. So if you feel stuck, most likely that's because there's something they're asking you to do and perhaps you don't feel ready to do it or you don't understand it's part of your prayer's answer or for some reason you might be resisting it. So let me pray for you that you have the courage and the strength, the motivation and all the support that you need to move forward in taking that important step that God is guiding you to take. Now as we get to, uh, oh, this is so, so perfect. You can't make this stuff up, right? Look at this for Wednesday and Thursday. Fiona, the angel, is the one who says, now that you've asked the angels for help, 
open your arms to receive divine guidance and to put it into action. So this reading is really for getting unstuck. This is a week of great movement, great um, uh, progress in your life, but it's up to you to take the first step. This is one of those times where you know, you, you, you might be praying, God, you know what I need, please do it for me, or God, what's my next step? And then they're telling you what your next step is, but are you listening, and more importantly, are you following that and taking action? Until we take action, it seems like our prayers aren't being heard. So for the weekend, yeah, so <laughs> this, it's, it's a story that they're telling us. It's the whole message. Merlina comes up. This is a card that says that if you're confused about what your next step is to take, and I know that answers your question, right? You, you're like, what's my next step? I don't know what they're being asking. It says do some research. But in this case, they're saying the research isn't on the Internet or the library. The research is within the inner library. They're saying they want you to meditate, darling, to take some quiet time for yourself and listen and ask this question. You could do it right now with me. What is it that you want me to know? What is it that you would like me to do to make changes, God? What is the next step I am to take upon the path of my life purpose and the answer to my prayers? And we pray that your intentions, your, your motives are purified so that they are egoless and are purely about the service that you are born for, which also includes service to yourself. We're not here to be martyrs. We're also here to receive as well as give. And look at this for the second card for the weekend. This is Serafina or Seraphim. This is the angel of families. And so this card says there's a happy change coming to your family this week. The first answer that I'm getting about that is a healing, a healing within the family. So I am sending you prayers to add to your own prayers for healing in your family, whether it's a emotional relationship healing, financial healing, physical healing. There's some sort of beautiful change occurring. For some people, this might mean a new addition to the family, perhaps a, a human baby or even a fur baby. So it looks like a really happy week, provided that you're willing to quiet your mind and listen and take action. And I know you can do it. Listen, if I can do it, anyone can. I went through a lot of hurdles to get to where I am now, and it all came down to praying and then listening and then doing what God asked me to do. And it's scary at times. It's a leap of faith to make those changes. But when you do them, you think, my goodness, why didn't I do this earlier? Why didn't I listen before? And no regrets, no judgments, just joy. Right? That's what it's about. Right, Precious? She's so peaceful. She meditates all the time. <laughs> I am sending you so much love. And angel blessings and precious. You want to say it with us? You want to say it with us? Come on, let's say it together. Aloha. Have a beautiful week and remember to listen to your guidance. And I'll see you next week. Aloha.